Well, how do there, chums? As I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm just going to run around, I'm going to interact with damaged machinery, and I'm just hoping, by sheer chance, that a trader comes and lands by me, people. And while I'm doing this, hopefully I'm going to get loads of nanites to spend with said trader from popping all of these. Now, I'm right out in the middle of nowhere, hopefully out where no one can reach me too easily, right out by a sentinel pillar I found. You can see the sentinel pillar right there. And my... my um. My base is right there, so that's why my ship is there right now. But anyway, let's have a look around. Let's have a look, see? Because as soon as you teleport, it brings your ship to you. Anyway, let's have a look around, and let's see what else I can find. Now, I can dig up this buried tech as well to spin into a nanite, so I might as well do that. If I'm not seeing any damaged machinery, I'm just locking them to those to dig up. Now, I find that you do get ships flying over like this a lot of the time. But they're not the ones that land by you. I find that the chances of um, a trader coming in seems to happen when you're on a flatter land. Now, considering this is quite hilly and there's not a lot of flat land, I think that could be why we're not seeing traders come all too often. I mean, I've only seen one in the whole seven hours that I've been inside of this event so far, people. So the chances of one coming by is very, very low. Right. Anyway, there's my bearer technology. This is quite flat here. If there is going to be a, a chappy turning up, this would be a prime opportunity for them to appear. There we go, we've got that. Have a little scout around, check the skies. Now, I've got my volume up quite high. I should hear them land, and when they do land, there's a little green ship logo. So you just need to keep your eye on the radial at the top of the screen for a green ship logo. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully you won't miss them. Um, you know... Anyway, I'm looking for some damaged machinery. Now, sadly, it leaves the ones you've already interacted in on screen. So, there is that bit of a problem. Anyways, not seeing any others at the moment, but that's all I'm doing right now. Oh, what's that? Transmission tower? Oh, yeah, we'll head towards that then. So, I'm at said transmission tower. Now, a lot of these bases, they actually have, like, little damaged machinery by them anyway. So, I'm going to go hit that up. There we go. Boom, I'll take that off of there. Also, I've got the vibration settings on on my pad. Sometimes when a trader lands near you, you actually feel it through your joypad as well. So there is that. So head on over here and go hit up this little save point. I could call my ship to there if I use the navigational data. If I don't have a navigational data, I can get one out of this tower. I tell you what, playing this way really does make you think differently about pretty much everything you do. It's actually a really quite a cool little game mode playing how we, we're playing. Now I did do a little mini a mini series of playing solo in this game mode. And that went quite well. Was that the door opening that made that sound? I'm get I'm just like really panicky that I'm gonna miss a trader landing by me. Yeah, it was the door opening. <laughs> All right, anyway, navigational data in there. Boom. And let's hit this up then. Okay, it's going to give us a little bit of a puzzle. Let's have a look what we get then. A sequence of numbers repeating for so long. Blah, 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 blah. 99, 92, 86, 81. Well, the difference between 92 and 86 is what? Six. It's, it's six. So the difference between those is five. So the difference would be four. So the difference, oh, okay, it'll be, I'm going to go 79 then. Now I've got that wrong. Don't know how I'm going to, oh, fudge it. Oh, well, whoopsie. Oh, well, you, you, you win some, you lose some. Cool. Now I did create a save. I could do a reload, but you know what? I think the only person I cheat if I do that is me. So, you know, I'm not going to bother. Right, so here we go. Let's head over this way then. I'll head towards that. Hopefully we'll see some more damage to your tech. The reason I'm not using, oh, what was that there? Let's have a look what that is. Burial mineral fragment. We'll go to that first because it's closer. Then I'll go to the buried other tech. The reason I'm exploring on foot is just because I'm hoping that a trader comes and finds me. Otherwise, I'll be um, on my beetle flying around in the skies. Take that glowing mineral. Boom. One glowing mineral gained. Glowing mineral. There it is. Oh, got some dirty bronze. Nice. Okay, I'll head over that way. 
And on my way there, I'll see if I can find any damaged tech. I'll let you know if a trader lands or if I find anything interesting in these damaged bits of tech. Well, it's not damaged machinery. What I have found now is a trading post just on foot, just by wandering around. I've found myself a little, well, it's a minor settlement, not a trading post. You know, it's got a landing pad on it. Let's hit this up. Sweet. Might as well have what's in this box. And in that. Might as well have this as well. Lovely. Everyone loves a freebie. Heck, freebie, yes. Righto. Yeah, okay, well, let's head inside. Let's see what multi tool is on the cabinet, shall we? Okay. Doesn't look anything special. Oh, it's got a paralyzed mortar in there. Which is pretty good against the old sentinels, isn't it? But how much would it cost me to actually purchase a cake that? Oh, it's not that expensive. Is it worth that many units? I think it is. To get that paralyzing mortal. I, I might as well get it, mind I? So if I buy it, there you go. I've now got it. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out of there. Thank you. I have that. And I swap to my multi tool. Boom. And back to that. And then I'm just going to install locate that in here. Chikapow. Ah, I need some unstable plasma to fuel this thing. Let's have a look at this. Can I buy unstable plasma? I can. I have all 40. Thank you. There we go. I just got myself a new weapon. And that's exactly what I would do if I found a multi-tool that had in it, say, like a pulse spitter or um, or another module that I really want. But sadly, we're not coming across those right now. Purchase blueprints. Yeah, we've got all of those anyway. A nice one. I would have that on the wall. A few nanites. And have these as well. Now, there was a little NPC that was walking around. He's gone outside. There he is. Now sometimes these guys can give you stuff. Some, I've had them give me a whole multi-tool in the past. Let's see what he offers up. Share creature scan data. There you go. Oh. Oh no. Let's um. Let's get rid of some stuff. I should have thought about that before I interacted with him. Let's try that again. Go on, let me give you my shared scanned creature data. There you go. Oh, he gave me a starship module. See, that's not bad. I can sell that and get some more nanites. Talking of getting nanites, while I'm here, I might as well put down this. And all those navigational datas, well, not navigational datas, the salvage data, I can slap into here, can't I? Ship out of range. What the? I don't want to trans... I... No, that's weird. Why is it saying transfer items? I don't want to transfer items. Oh, here we go. Savage data. There we go. Boom. And turn that into a nanite. Lovely. I'm going to have a little sip of me coffee. Right, just to give myself something else to go towards, I'm going to just hit up one of these. Let's see how far away that is. There's a drop pod. So hopefully I'll be able to expand my um, awesomeness. My exosuit. Okay, how far away is that, mate? 19 hours. You're having a freaking Jeffrey. Okay, um, let's try the other one then. Where is it? Where's my other chart? Oh, I think I just heard something land. I'm not seeing any green icons. I'm hearing things. Dang it! Okay, right, where's the other drop pod? No, it won't let me use that one at the moment, because that one's now out. Alright, well, we'll just carry on on foot then. We'll just carry on exploring. I'll see if we can find any more damaged tech or whatever. Oh, look, there's some more buried technology over there. We'll go dig that up. And on the way there, I'll have a look see if there's any damaged machines. Alright, people. Well, that's me for the day, really, just doing this. So another thing I'm looking for is buried caches. So here's one right here. Let's have a look what we get inside of this. Okay, well, we would do. Let's just eat some of them. I'll just eat all of them. Oh, what was that? 
We've got a suspicious band pulse engine module. Okay. Alright, well that's pretty cool. I'll look out for more of those cachets because that's pretty darn good. Alright, well um, I'm going to go into here. I need to keep this. Converting stuff because at the moment I'm running out of room and at least I can do this on the go. Let's just get that done. Put the living slime over there and get it doing the next section. Chikapow into runaway mold. Then I can turn that into nanites on the fly. Might as well get rid of that for now. I don't really need that. And we'll pop that. Cool. And I need to make some more life support gel. So life support gel. So I need to make that. There we go. Oh, what am I missing to make the rest of it then? Carbon. Okay, right. We'll just shoot some trees on our way to the next thing we go to. Right. Buried cache. We're going to go dig up a load of these buried caches, people, because that seems to be given... If, if I can't see any damaged machinery, I forgot that these caches actually can... Oh, Jesus. Just nearly broke my legs. Oh, no. Wrong, wrong one. Oh, yeah. Let's grab a load of carbon. Condensed carbon. Sweet. Oh no! We don't want to upset the sentinels. Sorry sentinels, that wasn't me. I run away. Okay, let's go and dig up this one over here. The sentinels are rather twitchy on this planet. Does make it rather interesting. What do we get in this one? Hmm. Oh! Suspicious broadcaster module! Oh heck yes! Get that in. Uh, boom. What was that? I just heard an explosion. Oh, was it? Well, that pumpy plant just there. That seems a bit too far away. Okay, I thought that might have been a ship landing. It wasn't. Dang it. Well, I'll carry on heading north and we'll see if we can find another buried cache. Oh, look, there's one right there. I oh, know, that's a cargo drop pod, but oh well. That's another buried cache. Oh, inventory is full. Okay. Uh, what can I get rid of? Not a lot that I want to get rid of. I'll get rid of the microprocessor. I'll get rid of that as well. Okay, go on then. Another suspicious broadcaster module. Oh, freaking lucky day. Okay, there we go. Let's uh, go stick that in there, I guess. Holy fudge. My damage potential is nearly 3,000 just on my broadcaster. That's not too bad. I guess. Damage eight percent. Yeah, this this is this is going good. Brilliant day. <laughs> nice. Doing okay with those. All right. Well, let's let's have a look around. Buried cache. We can head there. I'm having a lot of luck with buried caches. Another buried cache. And open sesame. Noir. Ah, okay, we've got this this time. What is that? Okay, let's pop that open. I'm not too sure what I found inside of there. Dunno. Anyway, we're heading over towards this damaged machinery over there that I can see on yonder hill. Yeah, having a fun time, treasure hunting. Okay, another buried cache. Let's see if I get lucky. Ah, we've got another one of those things. Let's pop that then. I'm not too sure what that gives me when I pop those. It must be something that I've already got, because it didn't fill a new space. Right, cool. It'd be nice if it talked... Oh, it gave me um, nanites. Quite a lot of nanites. Okay, these buried caches are freaking lovely. Alright, well, let's carry on. Okay, we've just unearthed another one. Let's see what we get. Oh, crusty Neurontron sink. Okay, what's in there? Ah, we got some idiom for that. I can sell that up in the station. Talking of which, what I need to do is I need to find some sort of building. Some sort of structure so I can um, put down a teleporter and a base. Go up to the station and maybe sell some of these modules that I don't need. Offload a load of stuff. Because I'm running out of inventory all the time. Oh, we've got some nanites there. I could head all the way back to my base, but I've gone miles away from where I was. 
So let's have a look in camera mode. Let's see if there's anything around me. Any buildings or structures in sight? Anything, anything, anything. Just has to be a waypoint of any description. No, there is nothing. Nothing! Okay, fun times. Alright. Well, what I could try doing... I know this isn't usually that successful. Uh, I need carbon nanotubes. And to get carbon, I need to zap some trees. But... There's a lot of sentinels around. I haven't scanned that tree yet. I'll scan it. Yeah, I'm going to upset a sentinel, I think. Look, he's right on me. Yeah, he's watching me right now. Okay, I'll scan a few bits anyway. It's always a good way to get nanites. But yeah, I'll reconvene once I've managed to find a building or something. Another buried cache. Anything nice? Oh, we got one of them again. So, I'm not getting so many X-Class modules now. That gave me some nanites. Quite a lot. And 44. Not as many as last time, but still not bad. There's buried caches everywhere on this planet. I wish I knew about this sooner. The only thing is, I don't know whether it only gives you buried caches for the te technology you've already got installed. Oh, I did come across some travellers' graves as well. I've come across two travellers' graves, and they give you remembrance technology. And in one of them, I got the uh, portable refiner, you know, the one that you can have on your person. And I can't remember what the other one gave me, but it was something up here. I think it was the, the rocket boots or something. So I put in the rocket boots and then I, I, I went and put in um, the other module for it. Because, you know, you're allowed to put in a module if you get something. So I've got the rocket boots and I got this from Traveller's Grave Remembered Technology. Fragments of the past or something, a memory fragment. But yeah, they give you those. Been going. It's not been a bad day. Oh, that's, that's not what I want. That's a cargo drop. Hmm. Uh, we got the barrel mineral fragment. What's over there? Buried cache. There we go. I head that way then. And this is going back towards my ship and the uh, sentinel pillar that I started at. I might just go back there. There we go. Are we going to get lucky? Go on. Be an X class. Oh! Oh, it's Starship Shield module. All right. Fair enough. Um, anything else? Anything else? Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm going to head towards my um, ship and my base. It's 15 minutes away, so it's not too far. Uh, yeah. Oh, jeez, look at that. We've got um, a buried, well, cache amongst all of this freaking evil stuff that's going to spike me and poison me. All right, well, let's, um, let's see how we get on with that then. Oh, you get... Okay, let's... Ow! 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 Oh, my days! Oh, my days! Ow! 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 Oh, no. They broke one of my techs. They broke two of my techs. Okay, we can fix that one. Oh, that was a bit bad, wasn't it? We need carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes. Oh, no. Okay, right. Let's get this, then. Man! Oh, fudging heck. Okay, right, I really need to get up to the old station to get rid of some of this stuff on me, don't I? Oh, you're having a... Nanites don't take space! That's what I was done for doing it. Okay. Okay, right, what else can I refine and get rid of? Let's have a look. Yeah, we'll stick all that in there. Do your thing. Okay, right. I need to make some carbon nanotubes. I need more carbon. Of course I do. I, I just shot a tree. Look, there's a sentinel right there. Fudging heck. Okay. I don't even know what I got inside of that box. Was it worth it? Probably not. Oh, hold on. I got a starship shield, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Right out. Well, we're heading back towards my uh, base, which is all the way over there. I'm not seeing any other caches at the moment. No. Oh, hold on. What's that? Buried cache. We'll go for that one. 
Hopefully it's not going to be amongst a load of sack venom. I know for future people not to mess with those. Or maybe use my terrain manipulator on the whole freaking patch next time. Well, that used up a lot of my wiring looms. When I do go back to the station, I might have to pick up a few more wiring looms. Great fun. Luckily, I had a few. Oh, there we go. Then. What do we get this time? Anything cool? We've got one of them things. Where's that then? Oh, we got this last time, I think. Got this this time. Okay, I don't think we've got anything overly useful. Right, well, I'll continue on. Right, well, I've managed to harvest a load of trees. So let's go into here. Let's make my carpent nanotube. And hopefully I'll be able to fix this. Yeah. What a waste of technology. Dang it. That was a very risky and stupid move by me. I could have died. I nearly died. Okay, what's over there? That's a cargo drop as well. All right. Well, you know what I'm doing anyway. Oh, chums, there's a trader. He's just landed right there, right near to a buried cache. Wait for me, trader. I'm on my way. I'm on my way, landed pilot. Okay, let's head on over. Let's see if we can spot him before he flies off. Where is he? There he is. Come here, you. Oh, let's see what he's got. Offer to trade. He's got... Scanners, scanner hazard protection, movement module. I've already done all the movement modules now. Special shield, I think I've done all the shield. Pulse engine, starship, neutron cannon. Oh, scatter blaster. He's got scatter blaster. Okay. How many can I buy? Oh, he's only going to sell me one. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, well, we've got one anyway. Good. Okay, well, we've got one. And I think I've done all my movement. Hazard protection, life support. I get one more life support just in case. I don't think we need scanners really. I think we're good. All right. Let's see if I can get that installed then. So there we go. I can now do the scatter blaster. So I should be able to install the scatter blaster off of here. So if I go into here, the scatter blaster, I'm going to need that, which I need pugnium. Okay, we can get Pugnium. I need to get a magnetic resonator to get it to work. So that's the next thing I need to do. And I might as well put in the um, the other module for it. There we go. And I need Pugnium. But really, what I need is this guy to sell me two more. Go on. Off to trade. Can I buy another one? I can't. Look. He's not going to sell me anymore. Okay, I wonder if I can sell him some of my stuff. Oh, I can't sell him the modules. Oh, that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? All right, well, is there anything else I can just sell him just to get it out of my inventory? Not really. I can sell him the idiom. There you go. All right, well, thank you very much, trader. That's cool. Okay, right. Now, there was a cache right by him. Where's it gone? Let me just go back this way a bit. Maybe it was a bit back this way. Ah! Okay, right. Where was it? Where was my cache? There it is. 109 news. Thank you, trader dude. I guess. Head on over here. And we'll dig this up then. Terrain manipulation. What did I get from there? Oh, a multi-tool expansion slot. Heck yes. Brilliant. Well, I need that. Okay, right. We're going to head on over there. And is there another... No, it's a cargo drop. But I'm heading back towards my base at the moment. Oh, there's another buried cache right there. We go for that. And then we'll go for the, bar the um, tech. Oh, happy days. Oh, look. We've got two in one freaking hole. There we go. Have that. Let's pop that then. Um, where is it? Oh, where the fudge is it? There it is. Sweet. And we'll pop this one. We've got nanites from that one. Cool. Oh, we've got another fused screen, did we? All right. There we are. Done. Is there any more for any more in there? Two. Cool. Um, I can't see that damaged machinery now. Sort of obscured my view. Oh, there we go. There it is. 
Okay, well, this damaged tech said inventory four when I interacted with it before. Oh, mining beam laser. Um, I think my mining beam might be already up to its... Oh, well, it's not up to its maximum yet. Well, there we go. We've got an S-class one of them, which is cool. Need more pugnium and I need a magnetic resonator. So let's see if we can get the magnetic radiator resonator built, shall we? So I need ionized cobalt and magnetized ferrite. Okay, so let's go into here. Take that out of there. Take that out of there. Have I got any cobalt on me? I think I picked up loads earlier. Did I leave it back at my base? I might have done. We've got magnetized ferrite. Let's get this into there. Let's turn that into ferrite dust. And then we can turn that into ionized ferrite and into magnetized ferrite. So at least we can do that step. I'm going to pick that up. Because it's in the air. Why the fudge not? I'm having a really good time, people. Okay. Um, it's been fairly lucky so far. Right. There's my starship over there. And there's my base over there. Well, there's a Viking over there. Not too far away. Huh. Not far away at all. Ooh, looks like they've built a base all the way out here. Okay, well it looks like this is one of those manufacturing facilities that they've put a base on. So it looks like they have found something cool. Alright, well we'll head on over and we'll say hello, shall we people? Sweet. Is there any other buried caches on the way? There isn't. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I don't want to go say hello to this other Viking. So who's that? Let's have a little hover over. Viking at arms. Yeah, keep losing him. I, uh, oh, it's like Stavizy or something. Okay, right. Right, well, we're here. I'm just going to hit a save just in case something crazy happens. Sweet. Um, maybe they've already used the teleport. Oh no, they're in here. Cool. Okay, well I might as well hit this up. Uh, he's already done it. Cool. Uh, I think I've already been here. I've already had all this stuff. Hello. I'd invite him to my group. Let's say hello. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, he declined. Oh, fine. Oh, what? Well. No worries. Sorry, got no mic, he says. Okay. Coolio. Fine. Um, I don't think I've got much I can give him. Let me see what I can give him. I could give you... What can I give you? Starship... Life support module. Can I put that in here? Oh, I, I need that myself. All right, fine. Um, I haven't got anything I can really give him, have I? I want to keep lots, lots of this stuff. Yeah, I've got nothing I can really give you. And nothing that you're going to want anyway. Well, I can give you half of these, actually. There you go. There you are. I gave you something. Sweet. Oh! Holy fudge! Okay, he's giving me some salvage glass and some bits. Alright, well, nice one. Well, thank you very much, buddy. Um, I think I might be full now, though. Uh, right. Yeah, I think I am full. Right, let's go into here. Let's take that out of there. Well, actually, let's refuel this. And let's do the rest of it. Well, thank you. Sweet. Well, I can use his teleporter to get back to my own base. Let's go back to my own base, my own HQ, I think. So your base is... I'm going to go back to my HQ. Zoom! Right, so now that I'm back at my own base, all I'm going to do is change the difficulty back to normal. Boom. Just like so. Go into network. And make it so my PvP is no one. 
We're nearly done with getting our, my, our ferrite dust. Lovely. That's going to take a little while. I'll reconvene once I've managed to get my scatter blaster installed. Well, you know what? While I'm waiting for this um, thing to actually bake, what I could do is use the teleport terminus to go up to the station and sell all the other bits so I've got a bit of free space. All right, there we go. It's a bit twitchy. There we go. Let's go to the station. Space station! Space, space station! Boom! Okay, right. I can go to sell. And um, I can sell this Sentinel Weapon Shard. Actually, let's sell this one first. Because I know I definitely don't need that. I know I don't need that. In fact, I know that I don't need that. Or that. And I, I don't think I need that either. Then again, it's quite an expensive one. So it might be better than what I've got already. Let's have a look. Okay. It's broken the tech, but what sort of damage? It's got fire rate 10. Fire rate 20, but that's because it's boosted. Let's just let's just move that for a second. Let's put that on there. Okay, well that's that's increased the damage potential like a fair bit, hasn't it? Yeah, we, we, we keep that out. Alright. Cool. And I'll sell that. Okay, cool. Nice. Heck yes. That's cleared out a little bit of slottage, hasn't it? It's not too bad. Cool. Cool. And now I just need to continue refining bits in here. So let's put that over there. Let's turn that into magnetized ferrite. And hopefully I get that scatter blaster installed while I'm up here. Oh, okay, I've got enough pugnium. I can already install that. There we go. We can get that in then. Pugnium done. And now I just need the magnetic resonator for this. All right. And to make the magnetic resonator... I'm going to need ionised cobalt as well. I don't have the cobalt here, do I? No. Let's just pop down here quickly. Let's have a look, see if it's inside the Galactic Trade Terminal. I need to get some more wiring looms while I'm here anyway. They've got normal cobalt. They've got some wiring looms. I'm just going to buy ten of them. I think the last batch I got down at the Colossal Archive. Right. So I can get the cobalt here. We'll just get the 390 that he's got right there. That'd do. I don't think... Oh yeah, I can't put buildable tech here, can I? So there we go. That's now done. We've got our pure ferrite. Let's get that cobalt that I just purchased, located. Let's get that on the bake. Cobalt, cobalt, where are you? There you are. Get that going. And then we're almost there. Now, I'd like to make a save up here rather than down at my base, mainly because I keep getting that sound glitch at my base. So I'm just going to jump in my ship, out of my ship here, keep a save here. I get my um, my uh, scatter blaster installed up here. Okay, well, I think I've got enough now. So multi tool into here and... Oh, no. So I haven't made the magnetic resonator, have I? Whoops. Magnetic resonator... Bum, bum, bum. Why can't I make it? Oh, I'm just short of the magnetised ferrite. No way. I've got like 600 of magnetised ferrite, haven't I? Oh, it's pure ferrite that I've got, hasn't it? Okay. All right, fine. Take that out of there. Pure ferrite. Where are you, pure ferrite? Pure ferrite. Into the magnetised variety. There we go. I better put a bit more fuel in there. I think I needed like 20 of it or something like that. Let's just wait till it gets to about 30. There we are. Now can I do it? Magnetic... Ay, ay, ay! Let's make the magnetic resonator. There we go. Chickaboom! What have I got in my starship right now? Might need to reshuffle my inventory a little bit. Yeah, I've got quite a lot of crud inside of there. I could have done with that earlier. That's, there's my signal booster. Why did I put it in there for? Could have done with that earlier. All right, well, I need to just sort out my inventory, make sure that I've got bits and bobs stashed away. 
I mean, I, I could put all this inside my ship, come to think of it. All the maps. I can put that in there. Yeah, because I can call it in as like a mobile campsite anyway, can't I? Got my little debris there. I could install that while I'm up here, actually. Yeah, anyway, I can do all this in my own time. You know what, people? I've had a really good stream today. I think I've done bloody well. So there we go. We've now got the Positron Ejector. I'm thinking next episode, people. Next episode, I'm going to go back to that Sentinel Pillar. I'm going to take on wave after wave of Sentinel. We're going to be shooting a load of Sentinels at the Sentinel Pillar. The reason I'm going to do it at the Sentinel Pillar is if it gets too much for me, I can just shut down the Sentinel activity using that little command station. Boom, they all explode. Extra glass for me. And I'm going to be taking everything that I get and turning it in at the Colossal Archive and hopefully getting my faction rating up so I can claim two additional stop slots for my um, multi-tool, I think every day. I think you can collect them every day from the Guild Envoy. We'll see if that's a thing or not. Anyway, Sluice Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.